We, we all need to listen to what the Bible right. says. That's the thing. Not just him, not just you, everybody got to do that. Right. So what can you do right now to change? You're not going to get in on it. Read what you got. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. The Bible says to avoid, you know what fornication is, right? Having sex before you marry. Having sex with anybody that you ain't married to. Right. Right? Man with man, that's the fornication. Woman with woman, that's fornication, right? Brothers with sisters, you see that stuff going on. That's fornication. Women with animals, that's fornication. You see that too. Men with animals, that's fornication. All those things are fornication. To, devoid, to avoid those evil lusts, right? The Bible says to do what? I know it's better to marry than to burn. Right. The Bible says better to marry than to burn, but what does that look like? That's marriage. Marriage, right? Read it again. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. No, let every man have his own man. Let every man have his own wife. This is the perfect that's unity of marriage that's been established in this Bible. Bring it up. A man with a woman. Right. This, this is what true marriage is according to the Bible. You may have known that already, but everybody got to get edified out here. Right. right? Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Bring it up. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Bring it out. Marriage is honorable. Marriage is what? Marriage is honorable. This is how you honor your parents. By getting married. By bringing forth children. By right. raising them according to the Bible. Right. Marriage is honorable. Right? But if you're not honoring your parents, how are you going to make it to the kingdom? We just read that. Read on. In all, and the bed undefiled. Read. But whoremongers. But what? But whoremongers. You know what a whoremonger is? You know what a whore is? What's a whore? You know what a whore is? A hoe, right? So a whoremonger is a male hoe. A, a male whore. Right. They That's exist, whore. don't they? Yeah. But you don't think about them when you hear the word whore. Right. So we're going to give you a specific word to use. Whoremonger. Yep. Whoremonger. There's plenty of them out here, I'm sure. Right? There's up. plenty of brothers out here that repented from that. Right. But there's brothers on this side of the street that need to repent from that. That's right. Read on. And adulterers, God will judge. Not right. only fornicate, adultery, all of that stuff. God's going to judge. It's, you think it's going to be a good judgment? So if a woman with a married man, that's wrong. A woman that with a married man is not her husband? Do they punish? I, 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 I heard something. I'm trying to get it right. If a woman cheat on her husband... Punished, right? If a woman cheat on her husband. Yeah, she get punished, right? Adultery is, the is punishable got, by the death. Punished, Read Deuteronomy 22. Is that what I'm talking about? So is it 22 that I want? What about a person that messed with a married person? All of that's adultery. It's all adultery. Right? Because adultery is you dealing with a woman that's not, or a man, another person that you're not married to. So if them two, if, if you and another brother is married and I come interrupt that, what is that? Yeah. Okay, it's adultery for everybody. It's, okay, okay. Yeah, for both parties now. And it, not just one. Even the person that's not married, that's just the yes, that's adultery. Yep. That's all. Uh, fornication, all those fornications fall under adultery. It's like a big umbrella. What are we standing under? You see this right here? That's adultery. Everything up. you see under this umbrella is uh, a man with a man, a woman with a woman, right? A man with an animal. Right, a uh, mama with uh, her son. Bring All these up. things are fornications. But this is adultery. This umbrella is adultery. You understand? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 22. Bring it out. If a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband. You see that? Read. Then they shall both of them die. No, just one of them. Then they shall both of them die. Uh, but one wasn't married to the one, to the other one, though. The boy wasn't married to the other one. Who shall die? Then they shall both of them die. The Bible says both of them get in the same, the same judgment. That's right. Right? They both going to die. Back to uh, uh, Hebrews. Yep. You got what I want? Read that. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Read it out. Marriage is honorable in all. So by keeping these commandments, this is how you can be within a marriage that's honorable. Right? Read on. 
and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers, whoremongers, adulterers, fornicators, read on, and adulterers, God will judge. That's right. You just saw the judgment, right? Right now, we got a period of time to get our lives right. Right. We got a period of time right now to get our lives right. Bring if Christ was here right now, right, if he didn't come and you was found in adultery, what happened to you? You, you're going to die, right? We just read it. We just read it. So now, if you go commit adultery, now what's going to happen to you? And I know about it. I'm going to die. I don't know if I'm going to stop going to happen. Something's going to happen to you. It's going to be a judgment. Will you get put to death immediately? No. It might take some time. You might. Yeah. But it might take some time. Right? But right now, Christ has given us time to repent from our sins. Right. You can repent from your sins now. You can read that in the Bible. There's, right. e there's examples of that in the Bible. Women caught up in adultery. Women caught up in the midst of these things. And what did Christ say to them? Stop doing that. Right. Sin no more. Right. Stop fornicating. Stop committing adultery. Right. Get married. Right. To avoid it, get a husband. Bring it up. Get married. That's what the Bible says. Right? But if your pastor isn't teaching you the principles that lead to a healthy marriage, you're going to be out here leading other brothers to lust after you, That's right. to sin, right. Right. right, to commit adultery, to break bonds and, and, and covenants that the Most High has set together. Right. Right. That's what you're doing. But if your pastor isn't teaching you these things, woe to him. That's, That's what right. the Bible says. Bring it up. Destruction. Destruction to him. That's what the Bible says. Jeremiah chapter 23. Go back to where you were. Verse 16. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 23, verse 16. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto those words of the prophets. Of the who? Of the prophets. The Bible says don't listen to these prophets that do what? <laughs> that prophesy unto you. Excuse me. Yeah, Read it again from the top. It's all right. Verse 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. What do they do? They make you vain. Right. What's, what's a vain? What's vain? What's a vain thing? Say it again. Vain. It make if something it, it, it makes you. Oh, like when they say you don't do something out of vain, like that. If you do something in vain, would you do it for? For nothing, yeah. right? Uh -huh. That's what they're making you. The, what, you're going to church right now for what? For nothing. Right. They're not teaching you nothing. Right. It's vain. Right. You going to sit in church every single Sunday and you ain't learning nothing. Bring right. it out. You're not learning nothing that you can apply. You got kids? That you can teach your kids. Right. You're not learning anything there. Where's your father's husband at? He around here? My it's, father, yeah, oh I'm sorry. Your father's uh your your children's uh uh father. Where is he around here? Like in this area. Like you know what I'm saying? Like is he involved in your life? He in prison, right? You think he would be in prison if he was learning these laws? No, he wouldn't. Bring but guess what? He probably was at the Comforters Church. That's probably where he was right. coming up as a child. That's a lot of the exactly your church and all the other churches that's leading the young men the wrong way because right. they're not teaching the Bible. A lot of men that end up in prison come up in church. Right. But the church has done what to them? Has failed them. That's right. The church failed most of these men out here. Right. Bring it out. Bring it out. The, first, the church probably failed this brother standing across the street. Is the church doing something for you, brother? Ain't doing a damn thing, is it? Right. You don't go to church. What you do? I said, what do you do? What do you believe? You God. Okay. How? What makes you a God? You control everything? You control yourself and your actions. All right. If you stay there long enough, we go. You know, we go converse. We go converse. All right. Um, Sirach chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-one. Sirach chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-one. Sister, you gotta, you know, get yourself together. That's why we out here. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> right? You not offended, are you? Yes. How do you know I need to get myself? Because you you are growing up in a church that's not teaching you God's commandments, so you don't go to that church no more. Because I be seeing they tell us call somebody daddy, so I don't go to that church no more. But that's my family church, so I that's my family. 
that don't mean I gotta be like that though. That, the Bible says that you got to choose who you going to serve. You going you going to serve who your family I grew up in that church, but I don't I don't go to church anymore. Okay. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. You know what that means? That's right. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Bring it out. Okay, which book stumble? What are you posed to stumble at? Nothing. You should be. You should have your balance. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. Read on. And desire her not for pleasure. What's that mean? Oh yeah, don't look at her just like lust. Don't lust at her. Like really like her for her. Don't like her for her. Don't look after her for lust. Right? For sex only. That's what that means. So don't look after a sister for sex only. Right? But if you're dressing in such a way where you're drawing attention for brothers to look at you Bring for sex only, right? That's how they're going to treat you. That's, right. That's what you're going to get. Right? That's right. Now, if your brother, no, if your sisters and your aunts and your mother, if all of them are dressing that way, if they're doing those things, are you going to continue to do the same thing? But that's your mama and your sister and your auntie. No, they're not going to be there when that man be talking to me. I mean, that's what you told me about this church. I said I go to that church. I grew up in that church. I ain't say I do the same thing they do. Okay, so you don't do the same things they do. I grew up in the church, but I, I choose to dress off my own way once I got of age to say no if I ain't want to go. Okay, all right, all praises. So you at of age where you can apply these commandments that we're teaching, yes. right? Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Because this is love that we're showing you. We showing you and everybody out here that's gonna listen. Read. Bring it out. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So how are you dressed like that, showing hatred to this brother that's across the street? Bring it out. Say it again. Because you got on jeans. Well, the scriptures do say that you shouldn't wear pants, but how else are you showing hatred to this brother across the street? You don't know? You sure? Oh man, read, read where you were again. Go back. Hold. You got Sirach still? Yes, sir. Yeah, read that. The book of Sirach, chapter twenty-five and verse twenty-one. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman. The Bible says. The Bible says, "Don't stump." You dressed appropriate, sister. Your pants are skin tight. Are they not? You may as well not have pants on. What? Your pants are skin tight, sister. Any brother, any bro I know. I can look at your 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 legs and and see I can see your legs. Do your they like painted on, sis? Right. You telling me they modest clothes? That's hatred to all these brothers out here. Right. No, we're comparing it to what the Bible says, That's not to what other people right. wear. This is the standard. This is the standard. You keep you. Well, I'm I'm not even gonna say that. All praises to the Most High. You understand what I'm saying, right? All praises. Where were you at? Leviticus 19:17. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So, with that being said, what's one way you're showing hatred to your brothers right now? With, my pants. with your pants. There it is. You see how simple this stuff is? But if we get back to God's commandments, this is how we can walk in the spirit of love. Right. This is how we can walk in, in the spirit of unity. This is how we can build a nation. But it's not until we can change these small things, right, to keep this brother, that brother, all these brothers out here, right, from looking at you and seeing exactly what's under your pants. I shouldn't be able to look at you and know what you look like naked. Right? What? I, I shouldn't be able to do that. No brother out here should be able to do that. What? Nobody. Nobody. What? Right? You heard what we read about adulterers. You heard what we read about murderers, right? What? Um, from the, were, you, were you finished with Leviticus? Read it again from the top. The, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor That's and right. not suffer sin upon him. Right. When you suffer sin upon your brother, right? You cause him to sin. Maybe not with you. Maybe not with you. Because he might see you and say, ah, sis, you know, them jeans look good. Right, but now he's thinking about you all day. So I did. The girl. You planted a seed in his mind. No, 
We we all need to listen to what the Bible right. says. That's the thing. Not just him, not just you. Everybody got to do that. Right. So what can you do right now to change? I'm gonna tell you right now. I can't put on a dress, but I try. <laughs> I think the hell out of something. Right. So you got to change, sister. If you don't, you're not gonna get the kingdom. Right. Like y'all said, you can't just go home just because y'all talk to me and I be like, oh, I know all about. It's a process. Yeah. We plant and see. You get. You got a lot of evil seeds. That's, Hold on, you got a lot of evil seeds. Everywhere you walk around here is going to be planted in your mind. Well, how, you got people going to the store right now, buying. You're not supposed to be doing that on the Sabbath day. Right. According to the Bible. Right. You're not supposed to be buying anything on the Sabbath day. According to the Bible. That's the right. Sabbath. The Holy Sabbath. God's Sabbath. The seventh day of the week. Oh, okay, okay. Read it. Genesis chapter 2. You're not supposed to be doing those things today. But guess what? So many bad seeds have been planted in your mind that it's normal for you now. Right. It's just perfectly normal. You're desensitized to it. So me telling you that you got to take them pants off says you got to put a dress on. You got to take the, 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 the hair out your head because that's envying your oppressors. You learned that from the white woman. Me telling you these things, I'm planting good seeds in your mind. Right. I'm going to continue to do it as long as you stay here. Bring because when you leave, it's going to be all evil around you. And you're not going to have no safety, no comfort, nowhere. Right. Right? Read what you got. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested. He rested. God rested on the seventh day, the seventh day of the week. Right? You know that's Saturday, right? You already know that. Right. All praises. Saturday is a day where you're supposed to, Hebrews chapter 10, you're supposed to come together. Oh, so that's why, why we're here. We're supposed to be teaching God's word. We follow Christ's example. That's what we're doing today. It's the Sabbath day. That's right. I want Hebrews 10 25, and then I want Luke 4. I see her. Shalom, sis. How you doing? Good. Good, good, good. Read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. That's what we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath day. Coming together. Why? Because we've been apart. Most of us working all week. So God gives us 52 holidays called the Sabbath throughout a year. 52 of them. And you don't work on this day. You don't even cook on this day. Right? You don't do no servile work. No cleaning. Do that stuff before the seventh day. Because the seventh day is a special day to God. That's right. right. So come together with other special people and all y'all keep God's special commandments together. Right. This is what's going to make you a special people That's according right. to the Bible. That's your heritage. This is what you've forsaken. You've given up. And you said, all right, instead of doing these special things, I'm going to do these things that the white man gave me. Right. Okay. Right. You know Christ is a black man? Yeah, You've been known that. Everybody know that. Everybody, everybody, know that. everybody don't know that, but I... I Okay. Everybody know that. No, I said I don't know about everybody. I know about myself. But you know that, okay? Oh, yeah, praise! But you didn't know that there was doctrines associated with the false image of Christ, like your hair, like your pants, like Christmas, like Easter, like Thanksgiving. Christmas and Easter, Thanksgiving. All those associated with which picture? Yeah. This that white man right there. Right. The beast. The beast, exactly. That's All those right. associated with him. That's right. You know, go to Revelation chapter fourteen. No. Hmm. Bring it out! I don't think you understand how serious this is. Before you read that, get Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. Because there's judgments to come for your actions, sister. That's right! Jamara, Jamara. It's judgments to come for your actions. Right? Get your spirit right. That's what I said. You remember what I said? You gotta get yourself together, sis. Right? This is what I meant. Right? This is me expounding on that point. So you still you're not offended, are you? You still offended? Yes. Well the word of God, yes. hey, it's gonna you're offend. Trying to help. You're trying to help, so. Read what you got. The book of Zephaniah, chapter one and verse eight. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Right. This is when Christ comes back. So when Christ comes back, right? You got the setting? Christ is on the scene right now. This is where we are in this movie. You understand what I'm saying? Read on. That I 
will punish the princes and the king's children. And who? And the king's children. Read. And all such as clothed with strange apparel. Yes, sir. So what's going to happen to those brothers and sisters that's destroyed or that's wearing uh, the strange apparel? They're going to get destroyed. You think a man in a dress is strange to God? Yeah. You think a woman in pants is strange to God? I guess not. Now you you didn't know before, but now you know, right? We gotta get you to say. If you don't know why you're doing something, eventually you're gonna stop doing it. Yeah, you're right. But that's why you stopped doing it. So what we're doing right now is giving you the understanding. We giving you the sense, right? Right? Because right, turn around. Look at this sister right here, right? Sister, come over here and talk to us. Come over here and talk to us. All right, she gotta go. She got something to do, right? But you see how you see the attire that our sisters wear. You see that? This is you just. This is a random person out here. This is what's acceptable right now in this society. But God says, if you dress like this, what's gonna happen to you? She has on a dress. Is it modest? No. Not at all. But the Bible says, what type of dress you gotta wear? A modest one. Right. Right. So that's strange apparel. The whole point of wearing a dress is not to just have a dress on. The point of wearing a dress is to cover yourself up. Right. It's so that when I look at you, I can't see all your curves. Right. That's the point of wearing a modest dress. Right. There's no pants that can do that. Right. Unless you put on men's pants, because they were created for men. Right. Ain't no such thing as women's pants. You gonna have men's pants on, or you gonna have some women's, women's pants on that's fit for your curves. So it defeats the purpose. You understand? The Bible says you dress like that, you're going to get put to death That's when he comes back. Right? And all of those things are associated with which which picture you see right there. Revelation. Say it again. Which, cause, which one is the beast? And all of those things, a woman wearing immodest clothes, he did all of that. He did all of those things. He's the cause of the destruction of your people right now. Right? Read what you got. Verse 12. The, no, verse 8. Bring it out. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 8. Bring it out. No, and verse 9. Verse 9. And the third angel followed them. This is the destruction that's to come. All right? We, we, we moving forward to the future. Right? So when Christ comes back, this is what you have to hope for. Pay attention. Listen. Read. Say with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast, do what? If any man worship the beast. How do we worship this beast right here? Bring it out. No, you you know that you know these you know these things, sister. You got some wisdom. This is exactly how we worship that beast. Read it again. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead. Right, that cross that that brother got on, guess what that's a symbol of? The beast. That's what that's a symbol of. It's a symbol of Christianity. That's what destroyed all of these people you see out here. Most of them. The, the religion of Christianity. Because who's the face of Christianity? Come here. Okay, and in that religion of Christianity, do you keep the Passover? Do you keep tabernacles? Do you keep the Passover? It's a holiday in the Bible. Bring it up. Do you keep tabernacles? It's a holiday in the Bible. Right? Right. You don't even know what those things are. They're not associated with that image. Right? But guess what is? When you see that cross, right, that he has on his neck, what do you think of? You, th you think of that man right there? Sis, do you think of this man right here? Or do you think of, you see, you see, the, you see the image he has right on that charm? When you see that charm, do you think of this this face, this white man, this beast? Bring it out. You think of a black man, period. Okay. So when you see that cross, it's Christianity. It comes from that, right? So all those associating themselves with these things, right? Read it again, verse eight. Verse eight. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen. Is fallen that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. You you just hear what that said? Babylon got destroyed. Good girl. Made them drink of the wine of the wrath of her 
Little girl. Come here. The waters of her Babylon is destroyed, right? That's going to be this nation. It's going to be destroyed, right? Because of why, though? Read that. Why? Verse, verse 9. Uh-huh. Verse 9. And the, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast. Worship that white man. If you worship that cross. If you worship the religion of Christianity. Read on. In his image. In his image. Right? Or his idols. Right? Read on. And receive his mark. In his forehead. That's your mind. Right? Because right now your mind has been marked with Christianity. Right? Read on. Or in his hand. Or in his hand. The works that you do. Right? The works that you do, are they for this white man? Right? When you celebrate Easter, is it for that white man? Yeah, it is. When you celebrate Christmas, it's for that white man, right? Right? Yeah, right? When you celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day, it's for that white man, right? When you celebrate Fourth of July, who is that for? No question, right? Right, so are you worshiping the image of this beast? Bring it up! Are you, you don't want to. I understand that. Ne neither did we. What? Neither did we. What? All that's associated with the image of the beast. Bring it up. All that's associated with the image that you see on this sun. What? The beast. What? The beast. Right? Read. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. What, what shall happen to them? Bring it up. The same shall drink. Of the wine of the wrath of God. That's if, right. if you're not keeping God's commandments, right, and you're calling Jesus your Lord, you're not worshiping the true, the true God. Right. That's right. Because you're not keeping his commandments. Right. You're worshiping this white man, right. Caesar Borgia. That's, right. That's who you're worshiping. You're not worshiping the Most High God and His Son Jesus the Christ. Bring it out. Right, you're worshiping the image of the beast right. that's been right. set up to deceive you. Christ said these things will happen. Read. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Read. And he shall be tormented with fire. This is what's going to happen to those that worship the image of this beast. Right? This is what's going to happen to those that, that still believe you can get God's kingdom and not keep any of his commandments. Wake it up. That you can worship all of these idols. What? That you can wear pants. What? Right? That a man can put on a dress. Wake it up. That a man can, can, can be a homosexual. All these things associated with the image of the beast. What? Right? Easter, image of the beast. What? Your birthday, image of the beast. What? Yes. You don't find that in the Bible. Wake it you up. You don't find that in the Bible. Every birthday in the Bible that you read is associated with the death of one of God's chosen. Right. Every single one. Bring it out. It's a custom of the other nations, just like the 4th of July. Right. You shouldn't be celebrating that. Right. Read. Tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So it's going to be death and destruction to them. That's right. Death and destruction to them. Do you understand that? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.